Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to 5 Minute Eats and today we have got a little continuation of a type of product we've been trying lately. Today we have got another Swedish meatball and this one is the Boston Market Home Style Meals Swedish Meatballs in a rich sour cream and herb sauce served over freshly made pasta. There's 26 grams of protein, oven roasted meatballs, and it is 13.1 ounces for $3.48 at Walmart. So Swedish meatballs, it's something we've been doing a lot lately. And Boston Market, unfortunately, that's a brand that like, we've done a few of their reviews, not good. Yeah. And even the restaurant, we went there <laughs> and it's not that great. But they literally threw our sandwich at us. So. Yeah. So um, I'm actually surprised they're still around. Me too. But they are. Now, here's the thing. Um, we most recently tried the Lean Cuisine Swedish meatballs, um, and that was a split decision, but this one, honestly, it looks bad. The sauce is congealed and separated and gross looking. So when I sat down at this table, <laughs> I smelled something funky, and then I looked up and I was like, oh, it's the Swedish meatball. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a good start. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, now I don't this think is, it smells that funky, though. I do think it smells just like a Swedish meatball. There's plenty of noodles. There's a decent amount of meatballs. There's um, seven meatballs that we got in there. And it looks like there's a decent amount of sauce, right? Yeah. Does the sauce look good to you though? Does the sauce, well, I mean, it's sauce. The meatballs, <laughs> the inside of the meatballs look dry. They do, and, and you know what? It was a little tough to cut into them. And it's heavy. Yeah, it's not a bad portion. Let's try. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we will not. So for me, this is thumbs up. I wanted to hate on this, but you know what? It's actually not a bad product. It's decent, it's middle of the road. It gets the job done. The meatballs were seasoned well, slightly salty, a little dry. I wish it was more juicier. Surprisingly good. I had no issues with it. No funky bits, like nothing, luckily. Now the pasta, decent amount of sauce. You know me, I love a lot of sauce, so it definitely could have had more. That's okay. This is a big meal. This is gonna satisfy you. Um, I, I almost wanna say it's a hungry man portion. Technically a hungry man would be about three ounces more, but close. Yeah, this is close and it does the job. Now the only issue I had is the onions. There was big chunks of onions in it and sometimes it was like hard to chew, mm. but not a deal breaker. I love onions. For $3 and something cents, not bad. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Totally shocked by that. So for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. I really don't love to say that because I would generally say to stay away from the Boston Market frozen food items and the restaurant, but you know what? This is actually not bad. Despite the fact that it kind of looked like noodles in throw up, it tasted a whole heck of a lot better than that. Because you liked the Lean Cuisine one and I thought it was just super bland. This one to me is a million times more flavorful than the Lean Cuisine one. Of course it's not lean, but. Yeah, the for me the Lean Cuisine it was the meatballs. Yeah. They, they were so good, man. The really meatballs good. in there were definitely the superior quality of meatball. However, I do think that these meatballs are better seasoned. Um, so the texture is not as good, but the seasoning is better. But the sauce in here, despite how bad that sauce looked, it tasted really good. What I love though is that it says that it has um, beef type flavor, pot roast type flavor, and vermouth type flavor. <laughs> that's that's a little disturbing because why can't it just be beef flavor and vermouth flavor, but it has to be type. <laughs> What's going on, Belicio? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. But you know what? Regardless, it did turn out good. Like this is actually a very flavorful, filling meal, I agree. Now, the onions is my only issue with it also because it's a totally different texture 
And yes. suddenly you're like almost crunching down on the onion. That was the problem, the texture, because I was eating it and I was thinking, what is this thing? Yeah, it was it was almost like a like, half raw onion, you know, in, yeah. in texture. Like it was partially cooked, but not all the way. And at times, I thought it was plastic maybe, you know, because- They were a little tough. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Now here's another thing we got to talk about, okay? What? Dude, look at this packaging. It looks bad. It looks yeah. low rent. It does look low it rent. It looks like so cheap. Why is the pasta on a black plate when the background is black as well? I just don't love that. I think it hurts their brand. I do too. I think it just, it doesn't, they need to really just punch it up a little bit. Yeah. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.